Hey guys, Adrian Kigiri here for the Tech World, and today I have a new software review for you guys. I was contacted by the guys over at win7zilla.com. You can see that link up here. Again, win7zilla.com. And they asked me to review their software. Now I know you may have seen this review on the web also from a good friend of mine, Duncan, our mobile phone 2003 also did a review on it. This is just kind of my opinion. Uh, they were very nice enough to uh, give me... Uh, a copy of the you know, software. The free trial also gives you all the what do you call it? All the features that the purchase version would, um, and you can buy it for uh, what do you call it? Ten dollars, which is relatively cheap uh, in my opinion compared to other software out there. And it does an okay amount of stuff. And uh, it lists some features off here. We're tweaking and changing Windows Seven settings, system information, change OEM and user information, uh, and optimize your you know RAM. Also boost gaming performance. So this stuff right here, where it kind of you know these. Uh, are really key things right here, which I'll show you in a second once we get into the software. Uh, it is also one of the world's first security and tweaking software for Windows 7. So uh, this is a site you can check it out at, download it, read about them, and uh, kind of get screenshots of every feature that they have uh, if you want to get more in-depth. Look. All right, so here's the actual software. Now, once you install it, it gives you what you have already as your applied settings. So most of the, some of these tweaks, not all of them, can be applied by you, whether you, know, you do it in the registry tweak or you just find it you know, buried beneath a whole bunch of menus in your control panel. Uh, like, for example, you can easily disable arrow shake. You, you can also lock the taskbar easily. Uh, that stuff you can also do in here. Uh, but it actually kind of puts all those tweaks, all those hard to find places in one package of software. Uh, it makes it really easy to uh, tweak your PC, your new Windows 7 PC, for top performance. Uh, also, good for gaming if you want to have a gaming performance. Um, and also has optimization tools to keep your system running faster. Uh, also, what do you call that? Kind of see what's in startup. A whole uh, really, really great all-in-one utility. And it also has some security features, which I'll show you in a second. So again, here it shows your applied settings. You can change between users on your computer if you have multiple users. So that's really nice. Now, when you add a setting, it goes into your pending settings. So, you know, maybe just you're thinking about it. And then after you finally, you know, decide, hey, yeah, I do want everything, all those pending settings to be activated. I'm just going to hit apply changes, and it's going to apply them for you. You can search right here in the right side uh, if you're looking for something. It has this little toolbar right over here that you can scroll through. We're not, it actually doesn't work through your scroll wheel, but uh, you actually have to scroll manually. And uh, the, the, the design of the app, the interface is a little bit clunky in my opinion. You know, they could have slimmed it down. But uh, the app does have a lot of features and a lot of things that you have to look through. But uh, you can actually expand these little things if you need to. But anyway, uh, so as it shows here in the right, uh, your system information category, you can get the hardware and software information. If I was to click that, it opens up a thing where if I was to bring my old uh, stats over here, it shows my thing from my, uh, this is my old compact computer that I'm on. Uh, it shows, you know, your main board, the battery if you're on the laptop. You get software information, so I'm using Windows 7 Ultimate. Uh, I'm using the the actual, uh, what do you call that? Uh, <laughs> Windows 7 Release Candidate, and I'm going to actually blur this out here because it shows a serial number but uh, anyway moving on your OEM and user information your Windows 7 startup manager for optimization tools and this is really cool because you can do stuff like uh, it shows you basically once Windows 7 has started going into the login screen desktop and taskbar and then you know obviously it launches an application so you can monitor uh, if you're like you know if you're getting problems when you're booting up as a start boot monitor so it can you know tell what's happening as you start a boot computer also shows what's starting up with your computer, which can also be found in MS Config, and you can have an application startup timer. So maybe you want an app to wait, maybe like five minutes before starting up. So very very cool stuff. Application speed booster kind of just uh, gives priority to apps. So maybe you want when you're recording a podcast, you want Skype to have more priority over Firefox, so that be getting it more uh, available available use from the CPU because you want Skype obviously running at top performance. And you can mess around some other, uh, other stuff in here. Memory optimizer. This just shows you how much memory you're currently using. Uh, also, free memory. You can you know mess around with this as well. Very very cool stuff. Extreme optimize, quick optimize. So this scans all active processes and recovers memory. So I'll hit quick optimize and see there it's gonna go up to 70 went up. So I can click it again. I mean you can do quick optimize. You can do extreme. A lot of cool stuff in there. Uh, internet connection optimizer and it says please wait and I'll let that load. Load. One pause. And over here, it pulls up an internet connection showing you your network adapter, so where you're connecting to. Uh, you can enable all this, you know, networking stuff like direct cache access. Uh, also, mess around with the MTU, di uh, MTU discovery. 
Uh, a lot of, you know, technical, or not ne more network terms are over here. It also shows you your domain name resolution priority, like what local, you know, stuff like that, net BIOS priority, all this crazy amount of numbers. Um, you can also set it to the Windows defaults if you want to reset these, if you mess around in these. Uh, create a store, restore point in case, you know, kind of screw up and you can want to go back to a place where it actually worked. So a lot of tools you can go into there. Also has file cleans to keep your system running at performance. You can go through stuff like, you know, your temp folders. Uh, it has support for Firefox and Google Chrome as well, which is really cool for your cache, etc. Uh, registry cleaner, uh, and I'm going to pull that up. I don't want to go through all these tools. I don't want to waste all your guys' time in the video. But it has some stuff on startup applications so you can clean your registry files. And then it has other tools like you can change the Windows 7 logon screen. Very cool stuff. Utilities, e easy access. And the other thing, if you're a gamer uh, and you're playing a game and you don't want all those other interruptions, running on your system boost gaming performance what it essentially does is when you're running a game it makes your uh, obviously your computer tweaked for you know actually just getting best out of the best gameplay that you can possibly get and it's open and over here I'll show you the current applications that you have running services that you have running are are started or aren't started and you can kind of mess around so once you switch to game mode it'll kind of you know it'll obviously quickly optimize RAM or maybe close some applications mess around with some services, all to keep your uh, system running, uh, you know, decent while you play your game rather than it being bogged down by all this other stuff. So that's just some of the stuff you can check out. Also on the left here, you can change Windows 7 settings. Like, I'm not going to go through all these, but I'm going to touch up on some of them, like, whole panel. These are tweaks that you can mess around with in the programs and features. Like, maybe you want to prevent access to uh, program uh, access and computer defaults. You can just check it, and then it actually even shows you a screenshot what that means. So it'll show you, you know, the say description so you can read all of them general you can prevent adding new printers so it's really great not only for a tweaking tool but a security tool because let's say you want to lock down a machine you don't want kids or anybody really messing with it even if like somebody else was kind of sit down on your computer and mess around uh they couldn't add new printers to the network they couldn't for example if you go into system and security you can add it so that the change password feature on the admin account or whatever isn't showing so when people want to try and change your password and won't work you can disable task manager you can prevent the locking of a computer so you know maybe you have a kid and you don't want them actually locking their account uh, you can change control delete options you can manage windows update and this is also good for maybe if you're having a family member who's on windows 7 and you know they may not know what they're doing you may want to like you know limit them and what they can do so they don't mess up the machine i mean there's a lot of crazy uses and there's even desktop and personalization so you can easily disable arrow shake hide the icons all that you know eye candy stuff that you want to mess around with and again they give a description of what it does uh they also have settings for internet explorer i wish they did add a feature for like firefox because that's and since that's one of the popular browsers out there but if you want to kind of speed up your performance and tweak internet explorer you can do that as well now at the top here you have your quick start guide if you want to go through here on how to use the actual application view your information optimize it clean up your system all that good stuff is you can also uh, import settings. Uh, let's say I exported my settings that I just tweaked out this machine, and I get a new machine with Windows 7. I'll export those settings, download Win 7 Zilla again, import the the settings. That way, my machine, my newly ma new fresh machine, is also tweaked as well, so I don't have to go through the whole process all over again. And again, it has some general settings, so you can actually add a password protection for the application, and you can have it run at startup, so nobody can actually tweak around with you without your permission or password. They also have feedback, help, and uh, system restore points just in case you mess up. Really, really cool application, guys. They're only asking you $10, which is usually standard prices for applications like these, maybe $15, $20. I think it's a decent price point. Uh, you get a lot of good features. The interface is okay, pretty good. It's kind of clunky in my opinion, but I will give it uh, an 8.5 out of 10. Really, really good application. I recommend you buy it. It's fairly cheap in my opinion. $10 uh, is you know nothing compared to what you get. Uh, and all these you know features and tweaks that you can mess around with your system hope you enjoy it guys and i highly recommend it if you're a new user of windows 7 or if you're an advanced user of windows 7 and you just want to get some more functionality out of your build or you know whatever it may be anyways guys hope you enjoyed this uh review uh, i thank again the guys at win7zilla for sending it over and i will catch you guys in the next video don't forget to comment rate subscribe